The world is full of all sorts of animals, and in fact, what makes the animal kingdom, if you will, so special, is that the animals in question will go. And in that vein, it's important to go, and out just how ruthless animals can be on their worst days, because whether you want to admit it or not, every animal has it within them to be merciless. The only question is just how merciless will they go and be? We'll show you some examples of this, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Number 15, Dogs vs. Lizards. We'll start out with a pairing that, honestly, you wouldn't think much about outside of maybe a home with some pets, but apparently dogs and lizards go at one another when they can, and the results can be quite interesting. As you are going to see here, for example, we have a fight where one dog is relentlessly circling a lizard in an attempt to get at it. The lizard is on defense for much of the fights, but is also able to get some good shots on the dog with its tail showing that sometimes awareness and strategy trumps raw aggression. And in the next fight between dogs and lizards, the lizard rushes a pair of dogs with speed that you wouldn't go and associate with lizards. Seriously, when did these things get that fast? Still not enough for you? How about a group of four dogs surrounding a lizard and barking at it endlessly until they finally decide to make a move against it? What does this all prove? That's a very good question. The honest answer is that sometimes these are creatures you just don't think will attack one another when in fact, it's all about the circumstances. Number 14, Birds vs. Mandis. At first, you might think that this fight is a wash for the bird. After all, birds go and eat insects all the time, right? So all they would have to do is go and swoop in, get the insect, and it's time to eat. But as in all things, it's rarely that simple. After all, the praying mantis is one of the deadliest bugs out there in terms of what it can do to its prey once it gets a hold of them. Just as important, they're not afraid to go up against bigger foes. As you can see with these birds, they're a bit intimidated by them. As you'll see in these clips, there are multiple birds who go and swoop in, thinking that they're about to get a free meal. But the mantis stands its ground and actually is able to hold off the birds they face on their own. The only irony here is that eventually, while facing one of the birds, a lizard comes in and eats the mantis. Like we said before, sometimes it's awareness that matters either way. Though, it's very interesting to see a mantis go and stand up to a bird like that. Not all bugs are that lucky. Number 13, Bear vs. Lion. If you think about some of the biggest beasts around, you're going to realize really quickly that some of them honestly never meet for one reason or another. A great example of this are lions and bears. It's true. We have the lions and tigers and bears on my line. But honestly, bears and lions typically don't exist in the same areas because they are literally separated by oceans. But as you've likely guessed, there are always exceptions to the rule. And that exception is the zoo. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't think about that, did you? So in this case, the bear in question somehow got into a lion's den at a zoo. Seriously, how did that happen? And realized that the lion that was there had some really interesting, well, something it's really hard to see what he's going for. But when he did go for it, the lion went from annoyed to angry in no time flat. Seriously, it was not a happy camper and was more than happy to go and lash out at the bear until the bear went away. This is probably why these two aren't placed in the same parts of the world. They'll never get along. Number 12, Rhinos versus Buffalo. Unlike our last entry, the buffaloes and rhinos of the world are honestly ones that do go and interact from time to time due to the proximity that they live within one another. The problem here is that the rhino is one of the biggest and heaviest creatures on Earth. And when they start running, they're literally a tank, a buffalo. A water buffalo, in this case, is a powerful animal in its own rights and can hold its own against many different predators. But one of those beasts it can't go up against is a rhino which makes it all the more interesting that one of these buffalo decided to go and charge up to a rhino and pick a fight with it. The rhino obviously used its advantage and kept putting the water buffalo down, which made it all the more interesting and sad when the buffalo just kept coming back for more seriously. No one to pick your battles, man. And then in these other cases, the battles seemed to be on the way, but then they never happened. See, they knew when to pick a fight. Number 11, Leopard versus Lizard. One of the things that we often say about the animal world is that the animals often know exactly what to do when another creature shows up on its turf. But that's not always the case. You see, animals only know how to react to what they've experienced with 
For example, something like a leopard would know exactly what to do against a zebra because it's chased it plenty during its life. But as you can see in this clip, it's facing down something it didn't expect to monitor lizard. And that really shows in how downright cat-like the leopard acts around it. As you can see in these clips, the leopards go and poke and prod the lizard because they are trying to see what it will do and whether it's a worthy catch for it. Many of the leopards straight up avoid the lizard due to how clueless they are about it, which is smart because those lizards wouldn't have gone down without a fight. This goes to show you that sometimes even the biggest predators know how to be cautious with potential new prey. Number 10. Hippos vs. Lions At first glance, this is another fight that would seem to be easy to predict why. Because lions are the king of the jungle, right? And so anything they do would be better than anything any other animals are capable of. Especially for a hungry, hungry hippo, right? Well, if you do say that you clearly don't know much about hippos, because these are some of the deadliest creatures in the world. And we have a couple of clips showing that they don't take no crap from cats. Take a look at this. First one where a lion wakes up a hippo, and the hippo in question goes postal on the lion, even going so far as to bite its head and throw it around. Hippos are massive creatures that may look fat, but they are actually pure muscle. Their jaws can bite a human in half, and have done so in the past. And due to their insane ability to go about 35 mph, they're blitzing tanks that can take out anything. And that also means they can survive a lot, including a pride of five lions trying to eat it alive. Number 9. Jaguar This caiman is relaxing on its day off at the beach, basking in the sun when a stealthy jaguar sneaks up behind it and crushes its neck. The caiman's vacation appears to be ending sooner than expected, and the jaguar will be able to have some fresh reptile meat for dinner. The poor caiman had barely enough time to drink his Bloody Mary before he died. These dogs have cornered a weapon, but instead of attacking it, they merely bark at it. Even if they tried, I'm sure they wouldn't make it out alive. Although the cat hisses and swings its paws, the dogs remain at a safe distance. The dog's continuous barking irritates the cat. The cat lunges at the dogs, but they are too quick to be struck when the leopard realizes it isn't going to work. He flees, but the dogs follow right behind. The leopard is tired and the guys on horses are approaching to capture it. I'm in awe how brave the dogs are. The guys aim to capture the leopard without harming it. While the dogs keeps the jaguars back against the wall, the jaguar is kept so busy by the barking dogs it never hears. The man above with a rope in his hand, ready to capture the feline, the leopard is apprehended. Once the rope is hurled to end the chase, the dogs are instantly dragged away and a net is thrown over the jaguar. When this leopard runs straight for the huge rodent and takes it into the water, you can see how enormous the capybara is. The capybara is nearly as large as the leopard, yet it lacks the leopard's power. After killing an 18-foot anaconda, this jaguar is dragging it through the bush. Although the snake is quite heavy, the jaguar must transport it to a secure haven away from predators and scavengers. This jaguar is battling a puma, and they are both vicious creatures. Growls and hisses can be heard as they roll over each other, seeking to obtain as many bites and scratches as they can. The fight comes to an end, and is a stalemate end. Theaters don't put up with jaguars as this confrontation between the feline and the long-nosed mammal demonstrates. In the end, the anteater is the one who chases the jaguar away. Although the anteater eats ants, it is not afraid of big cats. If you want to see the latest confrontations between animals and the best animal videos, please subscribe now. We post new videos every day for your entertainment. Number 8. Ocelot and Fishing Cat On a private reserve in Peru, this ocelot caught a red and green maca. The brightly colored bird isn't usually on the wildcat's menu. Macos are secretive and cautious birds, but this one was grazing on clay near a riverbank, so it had probably relaxed its guard. The ocelot spotted a chance it couldn't pass up and made it happen. A gorgeous maca had been just slain by what appears to be an ocelot, and it is being carried to its lair high up in a cliff away from any potential predators or scavengers. Fishing cats like water and stay close to the marshy. Areas are on rivers and streams. Their attitude is the wetter, the better. They look like leopards that shrunk in the wash. Like their larger cat cousins, they survive by avoiding people and stalking their prey at night. The fishing cat is an ace hunter in the dark. It even has a special fishing technique tapping the surface with a paw so the fish thinks it's an insect and it's the last mistake the fish will ever make to avoid being spotted by the prey. An oslo likes to hunt in regions with foliage cover, avoiding open areas, especially on moonlit nights. The Cody is surprised by this oslo and backs up into its hiding place. 
but the ocelot jumps right and kills the quaid in seconds. This fox is ambushed by an ocelot, but after a short struggle, the fox escapes, accompanied by one of his friends. The ocelot continues to chase, but we don't get to see that, though they are small. Ocelot are amazing hunters, and this ocelot proves it once again when it ambushes an iguana for lunch. Number 7. Tiger Tigers will hunt whatever they can get their paws on. So if they happen to come across a bunch of cows, they will take a go at it. These cows are heading back to the city to do a little shopping. When a tiger ambushes the last cow and takes it down, another cow approaching the area sees what's going on and reconsiders buying a new purse on this day. After a brief skirmish in the bushes, a tiger known to local researchers as in three can be seen crossing the road with a leopard's carcass in its mouth. Other predators, like bears, have been known to be killed by tigers, and the leopard's small size indicates it is a sub-adult and has no chance of surviving this attack. A tiger follows a deer across rocky terrain, but that doesn't stop the colossal feline from killing the cute tiny animal. The deer wiggles its tail as though it is pleased, yet it is simply waving goodbye. What do you think happens when one of the most powerful apex predators fights himself? That's what happens in our next video. When two tigers go head to head, it's like bombs bursting in air. It doesn't last long, but boy must have hurt when you consider the size of their canines and claws. Despite having spent his life in captivity, this emperor of beasts manages to chase down and kill a wild boar in the wild. That's a remarkable achievement for an animal that has just recently learned the lay of the land. Number 6. Leopard This leopard wants to seal the deal with this wildebeest baby. But it wants to make sure its mother isn't nearby because an adult wildebeest may cause serious harm to a leopard. After scouting the area, it appears that everything is in order and the leopard assaults the animal. We saw a couple of hunting dogs chasing jaguar earlier, and even though the leopard and the jaguar are different, they are very similar. Check out what happens when one dog tries to escape the grip of a leopard. The dog has no chance. Of course, this is a small stray dog and it's not trained, but one-on-one. -on -one. I don't think any dog would have a chance against a full-grown leopard. Many leopards have been discovered with severe gashes from warhogs, and only the larger male leopards will attempt to attack an adult warhog. Due to the dangers involved, it's one thing to pursue a warhog, but this leopard enters the warhog's den and kidnaps it while the warhog is watching American Idol. What a bold statement. Our following video features a lot of tumbling as the leopard jumps an impala and tries to finish it off. The leopard will not have an easy time with the impala because it is quite large. This leopard kills a baboon, but when it takes the baboon up in a tree, it finds a small surprise, a baby baboon. Surprisingly enough, the leopard lays down next to the baby, and it doesn't hurt it when a hyena approaches. The leopard even takes the baby baboon up in a tree to safety away from the hyena. The baby takes a liking to the hyena, and the young leopard remains confused about what to do with the little baboon. This leopard has just killed a large zebra and it's able to carry the zebra up into a tree. This feline may not be able to beat out a lion, but man, does it ever have impressive strength and agility. It is exhausted once it reaches its destination, but at least it can enjoy its dinner in peace. This young leopard proudly holds a monitor lizard in its mouth, showing it off to the rest of its family. The leopards are not impressed and don't even bother congratulating the leopard. The leopard decides to take the lizard and walk off to a more discreet place. Number 5. Lion These lions surround a crocodile, but the crocodile is no slouch and it defies the lions, even the male lion. The lions think about their little project for a few seconds and decide it's not worth the hassle. These two lions have an argument and one of the lions looks like it just came out of the movie Chronicles of Narnia. It has a much lighter color than the other lines. It looks like the other lines want a piece of this line, but I'm not sure this line is looking for something interesting to eat. It walks around a little towards a bush and when it turns around, it notices a small antelope and goes for the kill, succeeding in the blink of an eye. This line hunts a warhawk right off the road, and the warhog did see it coming as much as the warhog would like to escape. Its presence on the line's menu is requested. On this day, the cheetah is the fastest land mammal, but the line isn't far behind, so the cheetah in this video had best take it seriously or it will end up like beef stew. I'm not sure why the cheetah didn't leave right away and instead chose to stare the lion down. In the few seconds it lost, it was the difference between life and death. Lions don't usually attack adult hippos, but these two lions decided this hippo was game because of its small size and they went for it with a little effort. They got what they wanted, so the risk was worth taking. Number 4. Crocodile vs. Warthog 
This warhog is having a nice drink of water when a crocodile bursts out of the water but misses. The warhog displays amazing footwork that allows it to avoid being crushed by the huge reptile. Here's another warhog with swift moves as it avoids being swallowed by a crocodile. In this video, a crocodile swims cautiously towards these wild pigs in the wetlands of New Orleans. The piglets appear to be completely unaware that a massive sea monster is coming to assault them. The crocodile strikes and captures one of the pigs in a matter of seconds. Although, massive sea monsters coming to assault them. The crocodile strikes and captures one of the pigs in a matter of seconds. Although one of his pals tries to reach out to him, it's too late. The victim squeals like it's his last day on Earth because it is. The pig is marinated by the crocodile, and the meal is enjoyed by the reptile. This family of warhogs is enjoying a drink of water. When suddenly out of the water, a massive crocodile lunges at them and manages to get a grip of the largest warhog. Probably be the mom or the dad, the warhog fights like a warrior, but the crocodile drowns its victim. Number 3. Moray Eel A gigantic moray eel turns the tables on a shark that goes too close. The moray eel's jaw is massive and powerful. The eel must bite the shark head on to be successful. While doing so, the shark almost gets away, but the eel manages to capture it by the head and guide it into its mouth, where it is devoured in a battle to the death. In South Maui, this yellow margin moray defeats the yellowhead moray. Morays are tough, and you can see by looking at this fight that they don't play around. It's kill or be killed. This moray eel destroys this octopus, tearing some of its tentacles out and just pulverizing it. The octopus was never in the game. This octopus defends itself by using its tentacles to grapple the eel and then produces an ink cloud to aid in its escape. The eel bites off a piece of the octopus tentacle without causing permanent injury. An octopus can lose a tentacle and recover it. Later, the eel moves on to a new prey. Now that the octopus is no longer present, stonefish are venomous, but when this moray eel strikes a stonefish, it dodges the venomous spine as a stonefish sinks his teeth in and doesn't let go. And that's the end of the stonefish. Watch how a moray eel swallows a pufferfish that might be fatal to help them catch prey. Eels have two sets of teeth, one to catch the fish and the other to draw the prey further into its mouth. Most pufferfish are venomous, and they produce their lethal toxins from bacteria found in the food they eat. The moray eel, on the other hand, appears unconcerned. Number 2. Reef Shark These reef sharks can see this creole rasp dozing in broad daylight. Even though a vivid blue parafish stands out like a sore thumb, the shark's passive by unnoticed. What exactly is going on? Sharks are significantly more attuned to their other senses since they hunt in the dark, and they primarily hunt by sensing vibrations through water for the prey, to put it another way. If the prey doesn't move, the sharks can miss it. A filefish floats as calm as possible and understands it is an imperilous situation. The filefish generally walks away when it is bumped by a shark. However, the shark detects it and returns to investigate. The shark knows it's onto a meal with a light tap of its snout. When a fish is startled and flees, all sharks are alerted and begin chasing the fleeing fish. It's a free-for-all situation. At this point, the fish realizes the only way to avoid the sharks is to disappear through a hole in the reef. It's curious towards the reef, but it's too late. Thousands of groupers congregate on a reef and French Polynesia once a year to mate, luring hundreds of sharks to a feeding frenzy. Swarms of gray reef sharks attacked marble groupers when they were spawning. As scientists on the Global Reef Expedition were there investigating the predatory behavior of reef sharks in the Maldives, a white-tipped shark bites and eats a fish in broad daylight. They usually hunt at night, which is unique. At the end, you can see the fish in the shark's mouth. A group of white-tipped reef sharks pursue and attack a giant moral eel, ripping it apart. There isn't much the eel can do when three sharks bite and break into pieces. Gray reef sharks live on the gorgeous coral reefs around the islands of the South Pacific. Feeding time arrives with the arrival of nightfall, and the bait is lively. Needlefish speeding way 30 km slash hour. The needlefish give the sharks a run for their money, but it's hard to escape from so many sharks. These sharks are hunting octopus as they scout the area, looking for the octopus hiding spots. Number 1. Donkey Donkey versus what you might be asking. Well, in this case, we have clips showcasing that donkeys aren't just jerks because they like to kick you when you least expect it. They're also capable of straight up killing things that have no chances against it. In this case, we're talking about a fox and a little goat, which the donkey is no problem going and killing for reasons only known to it. Donkeys were bred to be protective animals, but that doesn't mean it won't go and kill something if it feels the need. And it definitely felt the need here and there you have it. 
everyone a look at the various animals who showed that they were quite merciless. On camera, which of these animals do you feel showed their most violent side? Does this make you think twice about approaching these animals when you see them in the wild? Or will you risk a skip because you really want to go and see them? Go ahead and let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.